Welcome to Ollie's Repairs. Today we will be making a radiator cover for a VW Cabriolet. For this repair you will need cardboard or some corrugated plastic, a marker, and some scissors. Okay, so a lot of people may be wondering why they need a radiator cover, because you see a lot of Cabriolets without them, and it's not just for aesthetic purposes. So on a hot day when you're sitting in traffic, the radiator fan will kick on to try to cool the coolant, and what will happen is these flaps right here will close, they'll be sucked closed by the, by the suction of this fan, and the idea is that then outside air will be sucked in through the radiator and passed into the engine bay. However, when you're missing this cover, this hot air that, or this air that's now getting pulled through the radiator that's getting warmed up, and the hot engine bay air is cycling over, hitting the hood, and coming right back down into your radiator and going back. So you're really actually not doing a great job cooling the coolant. During higher speeds when you're driving on the interstate, the reason you want the cover is because then all the ram air is coming in through your grill. It's actually blowing these flaps open, and then the fan isn't turning on. But again, if you don't have this radiator cover, a lot of the cool air from the outside is going to come and hit this radiator and go up and above. So you really want to install this cover to make sure your car runs cool. For this repair, I'll be just using some cardboard right now. The Cabriolets originally came with a cardboard-like material on the cover. This is actually only temporary until voting season runs around because then I'm going to be grabbing myself some of those corrugated plastic signs that makes a much more long lasting cover. This is not going to be extremely scientific how we do this. We just line it up, make a mark on each side, right where the cover you want it to go right up to this plastic, right up to this metal piece, trace the line, Now that we have it cut, we can start trimming it. Just make some marks here for where the AC condenser mounts. Now that we're getting pretty close, we're going to remove these radiator mount bolts. Slide the cover in. Make any last minute trimmings. And reinstall the brackets. Normally I like to paint these black, but this paper one is really just temporary until I can get a, my hands on a corrugated plastic piece and then I'll paint the, black, the plastic one black. Now your car is going to be running cooler because now all of the air that the fan is either sucking in or while you're driving at high speeds will go in through the grill and through the radiator and none will be exiting here and no hot air will be getting sucked in through your radiator. Thanks for watching another episode of Ollie's Repairs. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment for more.